Yes. Uh, yes, we can talk, but I'm not going to be opening the door in front of three males standing in front of my door. Well, that's the, that's the hotel staff and, uh, and we're the police. So. Yeah, so essentially what I said in my email to Samir standing here as well, as well as Vince, Carly and Karen is that I am currently waiting for RCMP response and resolution of two of my cases. Unfortunately, they are closed on Saturday and Sunday. I can give you the numbers for the incidents, but I am a victim of crimes. And until such, such time when RCMP resolves my cases, I am not going to be able to relocate. Yes. Can we, because we're police officers, right? I don't know what's going on with you. Can we just talk to you? I can ask the manager to leave. He can just talk to us. That look, that makes it easier for you. Uh, no, that's not going to be easier with me because uh, police steal two males, and because I was already sexually assaulted in the past, I was kidnapped and human trafficked into Canada. I am not prepared to speak in front of any uniformed and uh, weaponized males ever again yeah, yeah. so you understand we're here because the hotel saying you didn't pay and they want you to leave right that's why that's why we're here okay but again i'm gonna go into another hotel and they are gonna do the same thing to me and i've been living in hotels since january 31st this year i can give you rcmp incident numbers for you to follow up before you make any further actions in my case and I have already uh, offered to the hotel's management to pay a reasonable fee for my accommodation here until such time when my incident is resolved. On Friday. Excuse me? What is, like, the series you've been paying is perfectly fine every week. How can you get paid this Friday? So as I said already, the fee that is currently being extorted from me is beyond my substance and it's not reasonable. I have disclosed everything in my file report to RCMP. Samia, we need to talk to you, okay? Because they want you to leave. Is it easier if you have a female officer talk to you or what? Uh, yes, this would be easier. Can you open the door? Uh, no, I will not be able to open the door. So essentially what I am saying is that I am not talking to York Regional Police because you guys do not have all of the information and until such time when RCMP resolves my incidents, I won't be able. Is this, so your doors, you, you have the doors locked, how are you going to talk, like, why, why can't you open the door and talk to us? Because I was assaulted in the past. And, and then not by police. By, by police. By who? By York Regional Police. I don't have the names in front of me right now, but I was assaulted by York Regional Police on two occasions. So, Mia, we're not, we're not here to assault you or hurt you or, or anything. We just want to talk about this issue with the hotel, right? Uh, I know you keep mentioning that you have cases with the RCMP. That's right. Right? Like, yes. And, and, I'm not, and I'm not saying that you're lying to us or anything, but the thing is that we have a job to do too, right? So, we, 